So uh, we will now move on to the next part of the, our program. Uh, this is a panel discussion with the Chuo University international students. I'd like to remind all attendees that uh, if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the Q&A section. Thank you. So our panelists for today's are Ms. Shui. Hello guys, I'm Shui. And Ms. Bei Wing. Hello guys, I'm Bailey. Okay, uh, they are going to talk about their life at Chuo University and in Japan. So first of all, uh, tell us about yourself briefly. Hey guys, I'm Shui. Um, I'm actually a Malaysian and I came to Japan on 2015 and I actually studied two years of Jap in Japanese language school and then I spent four years in bachelor's degrees and now I'm a graduate student studying civil engineering. Yeah, thanks. So I'm Billy. I come from Shanghai, China, and I come to Japan after I graduate from my high school. And now I am a senior student at the, uh, in the Faculty of Global Management in Chu University. And thanks for having me here today. Okay, thank you. So first question is, what brings you here to Japan? And why did you choose to study here? Okay, um, first of all, I'm actually quite attached to Japanese culture. I used to learn about um, Japanese and Japanese culture when I was in uh, high, uh, middle school or high school. And then um, that was the first reason. And then also Japanese, Japan actually provides a lot of scholarships for um, foreign students. So I actually encourage you to come here. Okay, so I had I had a plan for studying abroad a long time ago, and after discussed with discussing with my parents, we choose Japan because it's really safe and the culture here is fim similar to my home country, and um, I think it's good. It's a good se good step for my studying abroad life. And the reason why I choose Chuo is the concept of knowledge into practice really attract me and I enjoyed my university life here. Thank you very much. So next question is, you mentioned the field you are studying right now. How does it apply in our lives? Okay, um, I'm studying civil engineering. To be more specific, actually, it's more related to um, something about river and uh, hydraulics, hydrology. So Japan is a country with a lot of uh, natural disasters. So there are like um, earthquake, typhoon, um, tsunami, you name it, you got it. And um, so they have a lot of uh, countermeasures against the um, dis natural disasters like flood too. So um, Japan, the field I'm studying now is actually quite good um, at applying for like countermeasures. So my current study is on the exceptions and controversy cases on the agreement of WTO or RCEP. And we found out the problem and tried to solve it. So uh, my recent research is about the COVID-19 methods to uh, method in global trade. So we proposed some suggestions to help the, the international trade to be much more smoother. Okay, so next, uh, so you've been in Japan for some time now. Is there any story you'd like to share? Okay, um, coming to Japan is, uh, to me is a really, really nice experience. Um, I got to meet a lot of people and I got to learn a lot of new cultures because um, I didn't really know about how Japan works before I come. Uh, like also learning uh, how to work with the Japanese in Japan is also a really nice experience. Um, like it's not what you think, it's um, really different. They have like really strict rules, not really strict, but just a standard rules for everyone to, follow and it's really organized. That's what I like about it. And for me, I think um, 
it's um i was wonder what could i do after my university life and uh, since the true slogan is to uh, is knowledge pra into practice uh, i asked for my teacher how could I do this? So she suggests me that there's a lot of internship and field trip into university and you could just apply for it to find your interest uh, in different field and um, maybe apply it, maybe apply the experience in your future career life. Thank you very much. So uh, this is my final question. What piece of your advice would you give to our audience online? Um, I would say I really recommend to come to Japan. Um, Japan is not just about Tokyo. There's a lot of really, really nice places like Hokkaido, um, sn the snow places like Hokkaido or the more Asian places like Kyoto and some um, like a little bit mixed culture of American Japanese in Okinawa. So there's just not about um, Tokyo. So there's a lot of places I really recommend you to go. I would suggest uh, the audience today that you should not afraid to ask, ask anything because um, it's a kind of a way to, for learning and the people around you are really willing to help you, your classmates, your teachers, and all you need just to find out what you truly love and just chase for it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, your panelists, for sharing your experience and useful information. We are very happy to know that uh, you are enjoying your life in Japan. Uh, 